Welcome back. In this video, we shall understand React, React DOM, and JSX. So to start writing our React code, let's create an index.js file in our SRC folder. And to do that, you come here, right click on the SRC folder and say index.js. And that's it right there. In our index.js file, we'll have to make two imports. And we shall be importing React from React. And we shall be importing React DOM from React DOM. And we shall come down here, use the React DOM to render something to the screen. And to do that, we will say, let's use a H1 tag here to say testing. Let's go out there and let's say document dot get element by ID and let's say root. So this is going to be the base file for our React app. Now let me explain what we have here. The H word tags here are not HTML tags. They are JSX elements and that is why we imported React here. This import helps in reading these HTML tags as JSX. As we all know, HTML is not JavaScript. And we are currently in an index.js file, which means we are in a file that recognizes just JavaScript code. So we need this React to be imported so that it can interpret HTML as JSX. In case I didn't mention, JSX means JavaScript extension. It allows us to write JavaScript code the way we write our HTML code also. So we have React DOM.render here. The React DOM.render uses the render function to render what we have to the browser. Now let me explain what we have in the bracket right here, in the bracket of the render function. The first thing we have here is our JSX, which is the H1 tag saying testing. This is what we want to render. Now the second argument we have here is document.getElementById. This is where we want to render our H1 tags. So the two arguments you will always have in this bracket is what you want to render and where you want to render it. I know we may start thinking where the root comes from. The root is in our public folder in the index.html file. If we come down here, we are going to see this div that has an ID of root. So this is the ID we are calling in our index.js file. So everything we write in our index.js file will be rendered inside the body tag of our HTML file. Now let's go back to our index.js file and let me explain something about JSX. In React, we cannot have more than one JSX element side by side. I cannot have another paragraph tag here or any other tag here that says this is a paragraph or, or anything. As you can see, we already have an error signal coming up here saying JSX expressions must have one parent element. And the parent element we shall be using throughout this course a lot is the div tag. So if I have this, I say this is a paragraph tag and I save that, I'm having an error. If I want to get rid of that error, I can come here and I can say div and I can come here and I can and I can close the div tag. Let's let's wrap everything in a div tag. As you can see, I'm no more having any error signal coming up whatsoever. If I go back to the command prompt and I say npm start and go back to my browser, as you can see, I have testing and this is a p tag. My h1 tag is rendered and my paragraph tag is rendered. For now, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share.